Let's look at another example of saving money. In this example, it says that we want to have a million dollars in 30 years. So we know what our ending goal is. That million dollars is the future value, okay? Or you could say it's the ending amount, A. And we want to have that in 30 years, so that tells us that the time is 30 years. We'll save the same amount every month. That tells us little n is 12. Okay, if it says we're saving the same amount every year, it would be 1. Every quarter, then n would be 4. Okay, so that, that's what indicates our little n. We're going to get 6% interest on our savings, so the interest percentage is 6. Find out how much we need to save. So we want to find the payment amount, right, or the deposit amount. And then also find out how much of our million dollars comes from interest. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into our finance solver. And we're going to plug in what we know. So remember that capital N is little n times t, so that's going to be 12 times 30. The interest percentage is 6%. Again, there is no mention of starting with a balance. We're just putting in money every month. That's what we want to do. So we start with zero, and then we have payments. Since we're finding the payments, we're going to come back to that later. The final value, or future value, is the $1 million. Be careful that you enter the correct number of zeros. And because it's monthly, we don't need to change this from the last problem that we did. So I'm going to go back up to this payment amount. That's what I wanted to solve for. So I hit the green button and enter to solve. And I get $995, and if I round, 51 cents. So we need to save $995.51 every month. All right, the next part, find out how much we need to save, check how much of the million dollars comes from interest. In order to figure that out, we need to figure out how much we, of that million dollars we put in. So I'm going to go ahead and compute the deposits. We're putting in our monthly deposit. And what we want to do is just figure out how many times we put it in. It's 12 times per year for 30 years. So we're going to take 995.51 and multiply that by 12, and multiply that by 30. So, look at my calculator. I'm not using the finance solver here. I'm just regular calculating. 995.51 times 12 times 30. And I end up with $358,383.60. So that's how much comes from deposits. So then if I want to find out how much comes from interest, um, what I want to do is remember that the total is going to be the deposits plus the interest. So if I want to find the interest, I'm going to subtract deposits from both sides. So what I want to do is take the total minus deposits. Okay, so the one million dollars minus our deposit amount, three hundred fifty-eight thousand three hundred eighty-three dollars and sixty cents. And I get a difference of six hundred forty one thousand six hundred sixteen dollars and forty cents so this amount comes from interest okay and again because we have a very long period of time that we're saving for in this case it's almost Twice as much money comes from interest as deposits. We're almost tripling our money here. 